In this lesson, I'm going to solve this question using the Moore's theorem. So the question says that we should express sine 3 theta and cosine 3 theta in terms of power support, cos theta and then sine theta. So let's look at how I'm going to do this. So let's recall from the Moore's theorem. We know that what if z equals cosine theta plus I sine theta, then z to the power n will be equal to cosine n theta plus I sine n theta. So this is what the Moore's theorem says. Okay, so in this case, we have sine 3 theta and then cos 3 theta. So this will be equal to, this will be equal to sorry cos 3 theta okay plus i sine 3 theta okay so this should be equal to cosine of theta plus i sine of what theta okay all to the power of 3 is the Moore's term that what we have applied here okay so it's that what at this side we multiply the three the theta okay and then at this side we raise it to to, to the power at the same as what what we've done here okay so what you're going to do next is that you are going to expand this uh bracket here okay because you know it is raised to the power three so i'm going to use pascal's triangle here so that will be one and then have one one have one two one and have what one three three one okay so i'll take cosine of what theta to be equal to a and i'll take i sine of what theta to be equal to what b so now let's look at the expansion so i have this to be equal to a q plus three a squared b okay now plus 3ab squared and I have what plus b cube. Okay, so now let's substitute the values back into this equation here. So that'll give me what? Cos cube theta. Okay, plus 3 cos squared theta multiplying b and b is what? I sine theta. Okay, so I sine theta and then plus 3a and that will be 3 cosine of what? Theta multiplying what? B squared that what? Multiplying I squared sine squared theta and then plus what? B cube that what? Plus what? I cube sine cube theta. Okay, so now let's look at this. You have what? I squared to be equal to negative one, and then I have what I cube to be equal to what? negative i. So now let's take note of this. So therefore, we have what this to be equal to what? cos cube theta, and then plus three cos squared theta i sine theta. Okay, and you know. I squared is what equal to what negative one, so all this becomes what minus three cos theta sine squared theta. Okay, you now I cube is what equal to what negative I, so that was minus sine cube theta I. Okay, so this is what you have now. So what you are going to do here is that you are going to group the row parts from the what, imaginary part okay so for the real part we have what cos cube theta we have cos cube theta minus what three cos theta sine squared theta okay so this is the row part okay plus the imaginary part so for the imaginary part we have what three cos squared theta sine theta 
okay and then minus what sine cube theta so this is the imaginary part also so now let's continue let me clean up some space so that you continue So now let's continue. So what you are going to do is that we are going to compare terms. Okay, so we know that what cos three theta plus i sine three theta equals what? What we have here that's equals what cos cube theta minus three cos theta sine squared theta okay this plus i three cos squared theta sine theta okay minus sine cube theta okay so this is what you have now so i'm going to compare terms here so i'm going to compare this cos three theta here to the the row part here okay so that we go to what cos cube that we go to cos cube theta minus what three cos theta sine squared theta okay but you've been asked to, to express sine three theta and what cos three theta in terms of what pairs of what cos theta and then sine theta so we have to express what cos three theta here what in terms of what pairs of what cos theta but you see that what you have what sine squared theta here okay so this cannot be our answer since we've been asked what to express cos three theta here, what in the pairs of what cos theta so you have to find a way to change this sign here what into what cosine so you know that what sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals what one so therefore you have what sine squared theta to be equal to what one minus what cos squared what theta so you can substitute this value here in place of what sign here so this will be equal to cos cube theta minus what three multiplying cos theta and then what now what sine squared theta but you know sine squared theta to be equal to what one minus what cos squared theta okay so now let's simplify this so this will give me what cos cube theta minus three cos theta plus three cos cube theta okay three cos cube theta okay so let's simplify this so we have what cos cube theta and then plus what three cos cube theta so that give what four cos cube theta minus what three cos theta so now finally we have what expressed cos three theta in what in terms of what pairs of what cos theta so let's do same for what sine theta also So I have what sine three theta okay to be equal to three cos squared theta multiplying with sine theta and then I think I think something there okay. Okay, so sorry about that so for the sine 3 theta this will be equal to 
3 cos squared theta multiplying with sine theta and then minus what sine q theta we have to express what sine three theta in terms of what sine okay but you see what we have what cos squared here so you have to find a way to change this cos here into what into sine so you know that what sine squared plus cos squared okay that sine squared theta plus what cos squared theta should be equal to what one so therefore you have what cos squared theta to be equal to what one minus what sine squared what theta so let's do substitution here so this will be equal to three multiplying one minus what sine squared theta and don't forget this sign here okay that's what sine theta okay but you can combine this three and then this sign is so about three sine theta so now let me clean this value here okay so now you have what this to be equal to what three sine theta okay this looks much more simple okay minus what sine q theta so now let's simplify this so this will give me what three sine theta minus what three sine q theta okay minus what sine q theta so simplifying this you have what minus three sine q theta and then you have what minus what sine q theta so that will give me what three sine theta minus four sine q theta so therefore you have what express what the sine three theta also in terms of what price of what sine theta so this is how to apply the theorem to solve this trigonometric identity question.